Hello, my awesome fearless Virgos. I missed you guys. Virgo, happy Friday to you. I'm so excited for us about the weekend. Virgo, I wish you to have a beautiful, relaxing weekend. But if you do have to work this weekend, please find some leisure time for yourself that you are deserving, Virgo. Virgo, I love you. I miss you. And uh, thank you again and again and again for your beautiful letters, for your love, for your support. I appreciate you so much. Virgo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So first we're going to ask, as usual, what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? Especially in relation to you, Virgo. You know, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo, for Virgo's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life. And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Virgo in the life? And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one is showing up very strongly. Wow, two of them, not one. I'm not sure why. Let's see. Two extra messages. Oh, you want to communicate. You, you feel that there's going to be communication coming up with someone that you are thinking of heavily so you you know that there's going to be communication yeah so for most of you it's going to be your soulmate yeah you are anticipating this communication to happen mm. you want to so badly to reach out to that person but you're stopping yourself yeah you're stopping yourself you are emotionally charged in this situation in this connection but you're stopping yourself from reaching out to them. Your energy is beautiful, Virgo. Whether you're male or female, you're holding very highly vibrational empress energy. You have very high standards. So that shows me that you feel this person needs to be the one reaching out to you. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like you're not with your soulmate right now. Yeah. You walked away, at least temporarily. You walked away from the relationship situation because you're holding high standards. For some reason, that person didn't meet you halfway, didn't reciprocate, didn't put work into their relationship. Whether they couldn't because something is going on in their life or they were scared to, whatever the reason was, you decided you had to let it go, at least temporarily. Look how beautiful this is. The best card in the whole deck, the sun. You see very clearly what you need to do in your life that's important to you. This is you very creative. You have very creative uh, energy of manifestation. That means that as long as you keep your high standards and focus on, on what's important to you, you're going to manifest. Yeah, whether it's a new job, business, business expansion, relationship uh, with someone new. Because remember, we can't have a relationship with someone who is not meeting us halfway, right? We can only bring to the table what we can bring to the table. But if the other person doesn't meet you halfway, uh, you can't do the job for them, right? You can't do their work for them. Here it shows there's going to be some kind of revelation of information that will make you happy. You're going to see very clearly what to do. This also shows me that this year you're going to have a great opportunity to travel somewhere, most likely far. You see, because here you see clouds most likely by plane doesn't mean you have to yeah and the sun is showing up so it doesn't mean you have to travel but you're gonna have a great opportunity to do so and i would say go for it whether it's for leisure or business it would be very good for you to get away yeah let's see you know please show us yeah and this is travel also uh it would be very good for you to travel somewhere far it shows up as somewhere far where you can just retreat and take care of you. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life. And how is Virgo currently doing on their summit journey? I feel like I need to shuffle more. 
you have released some toxic people from your life. Yeah. Universe, please show us. Which makes sense. As long as you hold that energy of high vibration, toxic people do not belong in your life, right? Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life and how is Virgo currently doing on this soulmate journey. You have a lot of love to give. Virgo, when you commit yourself to someone, you are faithful. You see, this is you loving, nurturing, giving, patient, yeah, giving chances. You have so much love to give. Look at this. This is you recognizing your self-love right now. This is you loving yourself, knowing that you don't need another person to complete you. Yes, it's good to have someone, to share your life with someone of value, right? Who reflects your energy and has your values, but... Uh, we have to remember that we don't need another person to complete us. We are complete on our own. When we start believing that we need a relationship to be happy, that we need another person to be happy, that's when we run into trouble and attract low vibration energy, toxic people. So yes, this is you knowing that you love yourself. You have love from higher power, creator, and that you are complete on your own not desperately chasing anyone for relationship. Whatever it is that you're concentrating on at your job or business, you are successful or will be successful. If you're already successful, you're going to continue with that success because this shows up as you manifesting something and making a difference in people's lives. People recognize you as being successful at what you do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is you keeping away from toxic people. Some of the people that you released are thinking of you and want to come back to your life. So if it's toxic relatives, fake friends, they don't belong in your life. Remember that, Virgo. People with low vibration, like the snakes we see here and fake angels pretending to be so innocent, <laughs> low vibration, do not belong in your life while you're holding Empress energy, right? Yeah, but I show here uh, that you have some positive uh, influential people in your life who genuinely love you, care for you. Yeah, you see here the gemstones and the diamond, high vibration. Hold on to those highly vibrational people in your life, Virgo. Yeah, you're going to find few of them, but it's important when you do find them to hold them close to you. Those highly vibrational people who are not toxic, who are genuine and authentic towards you. So the communication that you feel is coming is from is between you and the soulmate that you release that you're not with right now you see you still care for them but you see the cups are empty and it's on uh this card where it shows that you've been through a lot of emotional roller coasters in this relationship break breakups fights disagreements ups and downs heartbreak you see for some reason they didn't offer you solid commitment didn't express how they truly feel about you and you invested a lot of time energy into this relationship because you're holding a cup but you are by yourself you see this person wants to see you so badly yeah they want to see you so badly you're going to be celebrating some kind of accomplishment to do with your job or business you're going to be celebrating it you are manifesting it yeah yeah, you're going to be traveling. You're going to be traveling. You're going to have an opportunity to travel somewhere far, maybe even exotic place that's going to make you feel good. It's like you're going to recharge your batteries again. Yeah, you see, you need to recharge your batteries. Virgo, you've been drained by some toxic people in your life. Look at this. You see, this is you resting, walking away from toxic people, situations, connections. This is you protecting your energy. You see? Look at this. This is you guarding your heart. Be very careful, cautious who you uh, uh, deal with. Yeah, as you should be with that kind of energy you're holding. That's powerful energy. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo and how is Virgo currently doing on this soulmate journey. Yeah, you see, you're going to be successful. You're going to be successful at what you're concentrating on. Travel keeps showing up over and over again. A lot of you are thinking of traveling somewhere significant, exotic, or far, and it would be beneficial for you. Just don't take cruises right now. Yeah, I wouldn't take any cruises right now. No. Um, yeah, where you're stuck on a ship. 
Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, you're trying to heal from heartbreak, Virgo. Yeah, you've endured a lot of heartbreak. People deceived you, betrayed you. You see, this is you healing, releasing, forgiving. Yeah, you see, this person of yours wants to so badly communicate with you, but they brought you a lot of disappointment because the cups are empty and it's next to three of swords, heartbreak, you see. You put so much love into that relationship connection. Yeah, you did. Um, universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo. And how is the soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo? And how is the soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time? Yeah, they're scared you're going to reject them. They want to know what's going on in your life. This person has a lot going on in their life. It's like they surrounded by a lot of people that may be toxic, draining them. Uh, a lot of demands on this person. A lot of responsibilities on their shoulders. This person loves you a lot. Yeah, they do. They do love you, Virgo. Ten of Cups. A lot of love towards you, but scared that you may not want to talk to them or see them. They want to manifest something. They want to come towards you. Yeah, you see? So now they see your worth, value. They recognize you as very important. They view you as holding Empress energy, which you truly hold. They view you as high quality person, a catch. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. So there you go. In the subconscious position, Nine of Swords, this person feels enormous amount of guilt, shame, regret for losing you. They fault themselves for losing you. So they do recognize that they've made some serious mistakes and they lost you, whether they took you for granted or didn't tell you the truth about something, whatever it was. The good thing is that they recognize very clearly what the mistakes are and they feel very bad about it. This is them feeling sad, not able to let you go, not able to stop thinking about you. And because the four swords are pointing down, this person wants to break this silence. They don't want to uh, hide uh, how they feel. Universe, please show us hmm, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo and how is the soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time? A lot of you are dealing with another Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, yeah, look, they're preparing themselves to be strong enough, brave enough to approach you. Cancerian, yeah, they do love you, but they recognize that they didn't uh, offer you love. They didn't express it or didn't make a commitment. They recognize that, yeah. Uh, this person doesn't like to feel such deep, intense emotions. It makes them feel uncomfortable because they feel like they can't control their emotions. They can't just switch it off, right? Uh, they feel... Uh, very vulnerable emotionally in this situation with you. Yeah, this person has very hard time initiating communication, um, expressing emotions. They like to be alpha. They like to be in control. Um, they showing up as attractive, uh, popular, uh, successful, admired at the job or business. But they have very hard time dealing with um, relationships where deep emotions, intense emotions are involved because they can't control those emotions. Yeah. Wow. You guys have soul contracts. You're going to see each other again in future lifetimes, no matter what transpires in this lifetime between you two. Remember, you two have free will, uh, just like everybody else does, to decide what you want, who you want to be with or don't want to be with, right? So it looks like this person is not done with this situation. Look at all these major arcanas. One, two, three, four, five. Five, uh, yeah, life force cards. A lot of you are dealing with Leo and Cancerian showing up here twice and Aries. And it was, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo and how's the soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time? They want so badly to hear from you, but they know that they're going to have to be the ones initiating this communication. So you silent, quiet, and they, they understand that your silence speaks loudly. Yeah, that you are done with this situation. Look how much guilt they feel. Look how much regret, heartbreak, 
um, for losing you. Yeah, this person now recognizes how valuable you were in their life. Yeah. They want to take action. Honestly, this person is very alluring, very attractive, charismatic, enigmatic. People are drawn to them from all angles. This person wants to take action towards you so badly. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. This person wants to uh, reconcile with you, to make amends with you. They're not able to stop thinking of you. This is them thinking of you around the clock. You see, this is even affecting their sleep. How they rest, how they sleep. Hmm. This person is powerful at the job or business, very influential, respected by their peers, co-workers, whoever is working with them. It was please show us um, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo and how's the soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time. They're waiting patiently. You see, this person is trying to wait patiently. Uh you said something to them that hurt them, but you told the truth. You didn't sugarcoat something they needed to hear. Look how stressed out they are. This person is doing too much at the job of business. They drained. It's like their life is unbalanced. Like they do too much. They pay attention too much. Uh, they focus too much on their work and not enough on their personal uh, life. Yeah, you see, they're surrounded by some kind of uh, people that are demanding uh, draining their energy. You see this again? Hmm. Let me see one more. They're scared. They're scared of feeling such deep, intense emotions because they can't just switch them off. You see? Yeah, this person loves you deeply and it scares them. Yeah, to feel so emotionally vulnerable in a connection with somebody. Virgo, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also, your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Virgo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.